Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. A number of you shared with me the video of the man who went to the Asian uh, nail salon, I believe it was, to confront the shop owners for mistreatment of our women. And then subsequently, many of you shared with me the fact that these women decided that they didn't want to be protected. They didn't want to be helped. They were right back there in this shop patronizing someone who disrespected one of our sisters. Now, I'm sure that many of you know and understand that some of our people can't be helped and don't want to be helped. Uh, they saw it as an isolated incident. Uh, they refuse to look back over the past 400 years and to see a track record that has been established. They want to throw all of that out of the window and live in the here and now. They do not want to acknowledge that there is a problem here in the U.S. And so they don't want to be helped. And so it is very sad indeed that this brother stuck his neck out like that only for this to happen. Now, a number of things could be said about this. This man who did this, first of all, I would like to say that I did not approve of his method. When I was watching it, I watched it and say, and I, sh I was shaking my head. I said, this is not how you solve problems. Now, I've seen a number of brothers who have done things right. They went, they confronted these shop owners, these Asian shop owners. Okay, the, the ducks and geese are over there clowning, so <laughs> just uh, be patient with me, family. I have to get a little of that on film from time to time as I'm talking. But anyway, um, there have been those who have confronted these shop owners, and they gave them verbal commands to keep their hands to themselves, okay? And they also said that our people will not be coming back there, and in some of those cases, our people supported that decision, and that choice and that command. This, this The brother said, look, we ain't coming in here no more. We shutting it down, right? And so I don't want to make it appear as though I believe that every situation is the same. I don't, and many of you know that, but I have to say it for those of you who only watch one of my videos and assume you think that you know how I believe and how, how I think about and how I feel about certain situations. In this particular case that I'm addressing now, um, it was very foolish of these women to return to this place and patronize a business who has shown nothing but disrespect for our women, for our people, and for the authority of the black man. Even though in that case the black man um, did wrong by busting out the windows and getting himself arrested, he didn't have to do that. Um, I would say to the brother that we definitely appreciate your stance and wanting to protect I love that and we appreciate it. I'm so glad that you have the mind to want to protect your people. That is commendable, but we have to do things with wisdom, okay? You cannot break the law in order to get a point across. You can say what needs to be said, but when you get to destroying property, you can go to jail for that. Now, I noted that there were two female, black female police officers who showed up to the scene. So this is probably why you're still breathing right now, okay? If anyone else had shown up, they would have come up, re come up with reasons and excuses to send you away from here. We all have seen the incidents and have heard how these things have transpired. So we as a people have got to be careful We've got to pick and choose our battles. And when we do pick and choose these battles, we've got to know and understand how to properly execute our plan. If you want to protect, that's fine. Speak, have a conversation, speak loud if you have to. As long as you don't make these people, um, don't give them a reason to say that you are threatening them. You're just talking, you're speaking, okay? You're not trying to put your hands on them. You're not trying to destroy their property. Unfortunately, it's sad that we have to think this way, but there, this country has 
already established that it cannot be trusted to do right by our people. With that being said, we've got to be wise as serpents. We've got to learn how to handle our business properly. We've got to learn the rules of engagement while we're living in this land. Okay, because even those from countries around the world are looking here like, wow, what the heck is going on in America with the ruling class and its black citizens? So we've got to learn the rules of engagement, family. We've got to understand how to properly navigate in this country. But we have also have to understand, we also have to understand how the Most High expects us to do things as well. Many of you don't believe in the Bible. I understand that. You come on my channel, you make that known. But I do believe in the Bible. I've seen prophecy unfold. I've seen the words of the Most High manifest time and time again. And I understand the frustration of living could just want you to cause you to want to throw the whole thing out. But we cannot do that. I can't do that. OK, but I encourage you just to consider what is being said here. Think about things before you act, because these women clearly did not want to be helped. Our people, some of our people have a problem, y'all. Y'all know it. You live around them. Some of them live in your house. Some of them live in your community, you're related to some of them, you work with some, they have a problem. They have a problem connecting to reality. They refuse to see the forest for the trees. The big elephant in the living room, they will not peer upon. They would rather believe that all is well than to accept the truth for what it is. That being said, this is why we speak and say and do the things that we do for those who would like to hear, know, and understand the things that we are faced with as a people. For these women to want to continue to shop and patronize a place where they have no respect for you shows that they have no self-esteem or they simply just don't care about our issues as a people. They only care about the here and now. Some of our people, we're going to learn, we've, we've got to learn how to cut them off. Some of you don't want to hear that. It is what it is. You don't want to hear it. Now, y'all know I had to get my baby walking by. Waddle, waddle. He's walking slower these days, so I had to get that. I heard him back there. So I had to get him walking by. <laughs> um, some of our people don't want to hear the truth. Okay, it is what it is. And you've got to learn how to cut them off. Some of us are too afraid to cut folk off. We think that we just got to take whatever our people dish out, even if it means the vexation of your spirit. That is not the case. You don't have to take all of the stuff that our people have accepted from our own. You don't have to take it. You have to learn how to separate yourself from dysfunction. You have to learn how to separate yourself because... If you are on a different spiritual level than someone and they want to remain in the gutter and at the bottom spiritually, if they do not wish to come up out of the valley and rise above the mountains, you got to let them go. Because if you stay in the valley with them, you will not prosper spiritually. That goes for natural in the natural sense as well. If you will not leave those who have toxic spirits, toxic tongues, and a toxic way of living, they are going to pull you down into that same gutter. This has nothing to do with not loving folk, but this has something to do with loving the Most High more. Okay? What fellowship have light with darkness? If a person wants to stay in the dark, if they want to stay not in the know, if they want to continue to live in utter delusion, I think it's time to let it go. All right, family, with that, I will say shalom.